Hi, I'm Vince DeStefano and welcome to another installment of my video blog. Today I thought I would uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to use a replacement sky. So we'll start with this image here. As you can see we've got a uh, external image of a house. It was quite a grey day when we took this photograph. Uh, and what we want to do is try and spice this image up a bit with a nice blue sky. Our first step is to actually uh, open up our sky library and you can download all these skies uh, from my blog under the sky library section I'm going to choose this sky, we just open that with Photoshop we're going to select all edit copy we can close that and we're going to paste that into our working image ok so we've got a layer there with the sky and we've got our original layer of the house. We're just going to convert that to a working layer. So we double click OK. Now we'll drop that off behind the house. Important thing here also is to make sure that the horizon is, is lower than the roof line otherwise you'll see the horizon when you do the replacement. We select our house layer we choose the magic wand tool make sure your tolerance is around about 24 and make sure continuous is set. Holding down the shift key we're going to click around the sky and hopefully you'll have a uh, smooth selection like that. Now you'll notice a few other areas of the house has been selected. We need to unselect those so we take the polygon lasso tool holding down the alt key we trace around the line and any other areas that we don't want I want the sky to show up on. Okay, we now take our eraser tool. I usually set the pixels around about 900 to 1000, so you've got a, a nice big brush to work with. The opacity around about 49 to 50 percent. Okay, we do one pass. Do a few more passes just till we get the desired sort of look. Important thing with replacing a sky is to not overdo it too much and otherwise you end up with a oversaturated look. Okay, we deselect that. If we wanted to we could actually move that sky around as well. Now we flatten the layer. So we go flatten image and we can save that now. This is our original image and this is the image with the replacement sky. There are other ways to replace the sky which I'll show you in uh, future videos. Uh, I use this method quite a lot uh, just purely because it's, it's very simplistic uh, and it's a quick way of doing it. If you have any questions please email me at vince at propertysnaps.com.au. Thank you for watching.